Welcome back to our channel, and don't forget to flash those smiles. Pastor Kayan Henderson does not have to replace a father figure hole in the lives of his additional children, but that does not make his position as a stepfather any less impactful. The former college basketball player is married to Shawnee Henderson, ex-wife of NBA star Shaquille O'Neal. The basketball wives, co-creator and O'Neal are parents to four biological children, boys Sharif and Shakir and daughters Amira and Ma'ara. Shawnee is also the mother to son Miles from a previous relationship, and Shaq is the father of a daughter called Tahara, whom he shares with an ex-girlfriend he dated years before to marrying Shawnee. Kian and his ex-wife, Felicia Henderson, are parents to a girl called Caitlin. Speaking of their blended family, the Lighthouse Church pastor has revealed that he and the Los Angeles Lakers champion not only enjoy strong relations, but that there has never been a problem with his engagement in the retired athlete's children's life. He a full-grown man, I'm a full-grown man, he's always respected me. I've always admired him, said Kian in a past episode of his and Shawnee's The Grew Zone podcast. I think he would say the same. Ain't nothing but love. No problems. Grown people don't do that, he added. In an October 10 broadcast, the spiritual leader discussed how he has able to transmit knowledge, in particular, to young males about how the world views black people. I want to raise the perception that people have of us and not to love us into the monolithic perspective. This is my gift to the wider black family, if you will, to all of my brothers and sisters all around the globe. Me, as a person, I want to contribute to the demolition of the bad impression that's been there for many years, Kean disclosed. He then recounted how his anxieties about engaging with racist cops inspired a real-time life lesson. I was so afraid one day driving, uh, I was driving your car, when you had the blue truck, I had Sharif, Shakir, and Greg, a friend, in the car with me. We were leaving basketball practice, and you know Sharif, he has 10% skin, and 90% tattoos. This man's whole body is covered with tattoos. Shakir, a tattoo here and there. It's sprinkled, Kian first explained. As his narrative proceeded, his anxieties about their safety became clear. They got the windows down, they don't have any shirts on, and I'm driving in Texas. And I'm terrified to death because I know that when people see black males with tattoos, they envision gangsters. When they see other individuals with tattoos, they perceive art, he said. Congratulations are in order for Shawnee O'Neill and Pastor Kean Henderson, who married the wedding on Saturday in a ceremony and celebration hosted in Anguilla. I thought, oh my God, a police officer's gonna pull us over and assume that there are four drug dealers in this expensive car, and we're gonna be another statistic, he revealed. And it may not have been true, but here I am telling the boys, put your arm in that window, roll that window up, sit that seat up straight, put a t-shirt on so we can go home, that's how we have to live. Shawnee noted that her children were not reared with dread of police violence and racism looming as a genuine reality. These are California kids, so driving around like that in LA is normal to them. She stated while agreeing with her husband that perception affects how black people are policed and navigate in society. In the YouTube comments, one individual said, that's a combo I had with my boys when they were teenagers. While a second viewer wrote, I think it's that way because it's a thin line between Caucasian and racism. Megachurch pastor Kayan Henderson recently garnered flack from pastors and Christians following a released film from one of his 2023 sermons when he informed congregants that they obtain wealth or blessing from God by donating to the impoverished, but only when they donate the church. In the sermon, titled, It's All About the Benjamins, Henderson, the president and CEO of the Lighthouse Church and Ministries in Houston, Texas, stated he finds it troublesome that the church provides to someone anytime they are in need. Let me tell you something, the poor will be with you always, and there is no blessing connected to blessing the poor other than getting back what you gave to them, but no multiplication, Henderson remarked. Multiplication is designated for tithes and offerings. When you contribute to the poor, the only thing you do is assist them, but you don't help yourself, he argued. So when you donate a dollar to someone on the street talking about I've done my job, God, like thank you, but that ain't going to assist you, Henderson added. 
Read your Bible. Charity does not bring prosperity. Only the tith accomplishes that. In a statement to the Christian Post, Ryan Smith, a spokesman for the Lighthouse Church and Ministries, said that Henderson's message was taken out of context. Unfortunately, the few seconds displayed are utterly without the context of the overall message, which is that one should not wholly replace tithing with giving to people. It is just not true that the sermon was designed to discourage individual, legitimate service, Smith added. Rather, in addition to this reasonable service, one should also give to God, because it is He who can provide the multiplication, thereby allowing one to use His blessings to aid their brothers and sisters. The Church's Benevolence Program has donated more than $451,000 this year in charity giving, including to neighbors in need, local kids, and scholarships to graduating high school seniors. In August, our Lightfest Back to School celebration delivered free school supplies to 700 local youngsters. We have 30 various programs that deliver hope, strength, and love to everyone seeking God's grace and salvation. Smith claimed while adding that Malachi 310 demands Christians to tith. Henderson's statement received criticism online, with some assuming that the pastor was trying to persuade his followers to give him as much money as possible. What Kean Henderson is teaching is not of God. This is sacrilege, wrote Dallas Cowboys beat writer Clarence Hill Jr. on X, preaching well and being honest to God are not one and the same. This dude wants your money. He is not attempting to rescue souls. What Kean Henderson is teaching is not of God. This is blasphemy. Preaching well and being honest to God are not one and the same. Meanwhile, John Wesley of Truth Unveiling Ministries stated that Henderson's teaching violates scripture. He was better off saying just give me your money than coming up with something that does not coincide with the text. Wesley stated while referencing Acts 20:35. The scripture states, in all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Wesley stated that Henderson was hypocritical in his teachings as he recently claimed that God informed him his supporters will give him $4.4 million in three weeks. Henderson also stated that when Hurricane Barrel caused $20 million in damage to three of his church's four campuses this summer, God informed him he wrecked the churches so he could construct facilities twice as large. God gave me a vision, and he said we can achieve it in 21 days. I'm asking 2,100 individuals to contribute $2,100 in the next 21 days, and what we're calling it is out of the harbor, Henderson added. I call you from California. I call you from New York. I call you from Florida. I call you from the UK. I ask you from Africa to join us in our call to action. 2,100 individuals, $2,100, 21 days, to begin our attempts to get back into our building. When questioned if God supplied the $4.4 million in three weeks, Smith said that the church received a generous outpouring after the introduction of the Out of the Harbor campaign. We had a great outpouring from our members, as well as friends throughout the globe. We are thankful for their love and support throughout our seasons of perseverance, rebirth, and happiness, Smith stated. Wesley said it would be ridiculous for Henderson to preach this type of a message today, considering when so many people are suffering from hurricane devastation throughout the nation. The reality of the issue is, it's all about the money. There's folks right now that are suffering due to the storms. Why would you tell folks that there's no blessing in donating to the poor? Who do you suppose the gospel was preached to throughout the text? Our Lord, he assisted the needy people, Wesley claimed. When he blessed them, he didn't expect for anything in return. The Lord responded, When I was hungry, you didn't feed me. He was speaking to the goats, the folks who acted like they had love, but they didn't exhibit any compassion for the poor. Wesley referenced from Proverbs 19.17 to condemn Henderson's teaching, which states, He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. 
Megachurch Pastor Kean Henderson has drawn the criticism of Bible-believing pastors and Christians in recent days over a resurfaced clip from one of his 2023 sermons in which he is seen telling congregants that they won't get wealth or blessing from God by giving to the poor, but only when they tith to church. In the contentious tape recorded from a November 5, 2023, sermon entitled, It's All About the Benjamins, the founder and CEO of the Lighthouse Church and Ministries in Houston, Texas, stated he finds it troubling that every time someone is in need, the church wants to send money to them. Let me tell you something, the poor will be with you always, and there is no blessing connected to blessing the poor other than getting back what you gave to them, but no multiplication, Henderson remarked. Multiplication is classified for tithes and offering. When you contribute to the poor, the only thing you do is assist them. But you don't help yourself, he argued. So when you donate a dollar to someone on the street talking about I done my job, God. Like thank you, but that ain't going to assist you. Henderson added. Read your Bible. Charity does not bring money. Only the tith accomplishes that. When asked by the Christian Post for comment on his message Wednesday, Brian Smith, a representative for the Lighthouse Church and Ministries, stated in a statement that Henderson's message was taken out of context. Unfortunately, the few seconds displayed are utterly without the context of the overall message, which is that one should not wholly replace teething with giving to people. It is just not true that the sermon was designed to discourage individual, legitimate service, Smith added. Rather, in addition to this reasonable service, one should also give to God, because it is He who can provide the multiplication, thereby allowing one to use His blessings to aid their brothers and sisters. The Lighthouse Church and Ministry spokesman detailed the Church's own history of charity donations. The Church's Benevolence Program has donated more than $451,000 this year in charity giving, including to neighbors in need, local kids, and scholarships to graduating high school seniors. In August, our Lightfest back-to-school celebration delivered free school supplies to 700 local youngsters. We have 30 various programs that deliver hope, strength, and love to everyone seeking God's grace and salvation. Smith claimed while adding that Malachi 310 demands Christians to tit. Still, popular responses to Henderson's message in the tape have not been positive. Some opponents feel the preacher was attempting to exploit his followers to get as much money from them as possible. What Kean Henderson is teaching is not of God. This is sacrilege, wrote Dallas Cowboys beat writer Clarence Hill Jr. on X. Preaching well and being honest to God are not one and the same. This dude wants your money. He is not attempting to rescue souls. Pastor John Wesley of Truth Unveiling Ministries criticized Henderson's message as contradictory with biblical principles, 